Amy Brown, one of the stars of the Discovery Reality series Alaskan Bush People, just made it through one of the most trying years of her life while openly discussing it. The matriarch of the Brown family was diagnosed with stage 3 lung cancer and was given a dismal prognosis. Cameras were rolling when the terrible news was conveyed to her family. Fortunately, Amy's cancer was eventually shown to be recoverable. Amy started having terrible back pain and trouble moving about when she was filming Alaskan bush people. She originally thought it was arthritic discomfort, but a scan by a doctor discovered a little capsule, which turned out to be stage 3 lung cancer in the end. She remarked, I was in so much pain that it was difficult for me to do anything other than stand there while we were recording the show. While we were doing promotional shots, I told them something wasn't right. Amy's doctor urged her to endure intense chemotherapy and radiation for 12 weeks. The Alaskan Bush People executive producer responded to the Brown family's inquiries and laid out the options. On video, members of the family discussed their responses to the news and how they are finding support in one another. On Alaskan Bush People, Sun Matt said that things have been a little difficult. It appears that the world has altered somewhat. Witnessing mom's pain has to be the hardest part for me and the rest of the family. Amy had difficult chemotherapy and radiation treatments at a clinic in Southern California that was far from her home. Her family moved there to be with her. According to Billy, Amy's husband, she used to only weigh 77 pounds. She was just a few pounds away from passing away, he claimed. She tries to keep it hidden from everyone, but four or five times every day, she tears while bending down like a baby. A 3% probability of survival was previously offered to her. Billy said that he, Amy, and their family had been solemn when they went to the doctor and that they had a strategy for carrying out her therapy. They were thus taken away when the doctor informed them that Amy was cancer-free. For all of us, it took some time for it to set in. Billy said they had to pull us up off the ground. When we learned we were having a girl after five boys, it was similar. Are you sure? was the question. It was excellent. Amy wasn't yet cancer-free, though, as her cancer's origins were still unknown to medical professionals. As a result, she and her physicians need to keep monitoring, since there is a possibility that her cancer will return. I now have to go in and be scanned every three months for the rest of my life to see if it's back or not. It will always be a part of my life, she said. But I want to urge people to save our every moment and journey through it with God, since he is aware of its significance. Keep your trust strong. It will be demonstrated how the Brown family uproots and relocates to a new home in Washington state. We have faced a lot of hardship. Darkness surrounded us, and it felt like everything was closing in on us, according to Billy. Washington then came into view.